Hey guys, how are you doing? As promised in our previous video, today we will be discussing how you can create an application from your Sashido dashboard. So, let's get straight to it. In order to start creating the application, we first need to log into the dashboard. We can do it by clicking on the Go to Dashboard button right here. Once we are in the dashboard, this is what we should be able to see and we need to click on the Create new app button. As soon as we do it, a new page loads where we'll be able to upload an image for our application. This is just optional, so you can skip it for now. Let's choose a name for our application. This is what I'm going to do right now. Once you are done with the app name, you can proceed with choosing your app region. There is a drop-down menu which you can click on so that you see the available options. We have four regions for the moment, so choose the one which is closest to your app users. In my case, I'm going to choose Europe. Once you have set up the app name and you have chosen the app region, you can click on Create. The system is now starting to set everything up. The process usually takes a couple of minutes to be completed, so be patient. There are a few processes that are running on the back end at the moment, which you don't see. And basically everything starts with setting up a unique hostname for your application, which follows by a Docker image deployment for your PAR server, then a load balancer is added, as well as a MongoDB replica set is created. Also, the system automatically creates a GitHub repository for your cloud code. You see how easy it is to manage it through it. There are some configurations of your application cluster. And once all of these are done, there is one final step, which is doing some tests. The tests are needed so that we are sure all the components are up and running. In case you're interested to know a bit more on the different uh, processes that are running on the backend, you can click on this button right here and the information will appear on the right side of your screen. Here it is. Now let's leave the system to complete the process and come back in a couple of minutes to see how far we have gone and if our app has been successfully created. See you in a couple of minutes, guys! So, a couple of minutes have passed and we are back. Our application has been successfully created, as you can see from the screen. This basically confirms that everything is OK and encourages us to start using the application itself. Let's click on the Continue button and see what happens. We'll be redirected to our help page where you'll be able to read about the different SDKs, you'll find information on where you can download them, how you can use them, etc. This page also contains information on the database, how you can use it and manage it. There will be interesting things you can read about the push notifications setup as well. More specifically, you'll be able to check how you can upload your, your Apple push certificates and add your Android credentials. Also, you'll find information on the cloud code and how you can manage it. By the way, you can always return to this page. I will show you in a moment how you can do it. And now, let's go straight to our newly created application and see what other information we can have. This is how everything looks. Now let's click on the app name itself and see what we have there. As you can notice, we have information about the server location. In our case, it's Europe. There is information about the PAR server version as well as the application creation date. Right here, you can check your app users and the number of installations that you have. Now. Let me show you where is the help section. You, you go to the app settings, click on it and scroll down to the bottom. Here is the help section. In case you need to read something more, you can always return back to it. That was basically everything, folks. I hope the video was useful to you. In our next video, we'll be making an overview of the dashboard and we'll be discussing in details the sections that you see on the left side of your screen. 
So if you are interested in this, you can subscribe for our channel. The next video will be uploaded on Tuesday. I will include some useful links in today's video, so make, make sure to check the video description. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.